Laka. Time to get into Yashin Adli, 53-20. Get the likes up like my guy S has said as well, please. Thank you very much for such. Where is, I've got so many tabs open. We're going to have to use this one. Now, you did actually see Yachin Adli link with AC Milan. And like I said, he's a player I've spoken on, I've spoke on before. Um, you know, I wanted him when he was at PSG. You know, you had him, Edil Yushe and all these guys. And he's now 21. We tried to get him when Emre was here. So he must have been, what, 18, 19 them times. He's still a young man. I'm not going to sit here and lie. There's still a lot of development for him to do. I don't think he's certied himself in the game yet. Like when you're seeing him play for Bordeaux, you know, he's a good player, but he still needs to take that consistency up to another level. And as I said, he's still 21 and developing. He's a very cultured individual. He can play in a number of roles. He can play in a number of midfield roles. He can carry a ball. He wants the ball. Um, He's got the attitude as well to want the ball. He's good in tight spaces. He's got a passing range. He's a good ball carrier, dribbler with it. And he's got the raw principles. If he was to come to Arsenal, there's a bit of refining to do. What specific role is he going to play into and things like that? I think he'd be a good player. I'm not too sure of where this interest has come from because if you look in it, AC Milan, Arsenal and Spurs have all been linked with this individual in the last day or tw less than 24 hours. Is that talk of a new contract at Bordeaux? Is he angling for a move? I don't know. But according to Foot Mercato journalist Santiona, both clubs are preparing an opening offer for the 21-year-old midfielder. Allegedly, North London rivals Arsenal and Tottenham are reportedly set to battle it out for the signature of Yashin Adli. I want him. I really want him. Allegedly, but they will have to get a move on if they want to get the deal over the line, with AC Milan said to already submitted a bid for the French attacking midfielder. The Italian giants have reportedly made an offer in the region of 10 million for him with a 10% sell-on clause included in the deal. But Bordeaux are holding out for a higher fee, giving the two North London rivals time to ready their bids. Um, as you lot know, he's a product of the PSG Academy. He moved for 5 million. Um He's played 69 times for Bordeaux, scoring five goals and getting eight assists. So there's still a lot of development to be done. Sometimes I do think he can go missing in games, you know, which you can get away with in the academy. You can't necessarily get away with in the first team. He can go a bit missing. As I said, the consistency, the dominance in games, that sort of thing, is, there's still many levels to go up. But considering he's got two years left, they're clearly open to making a profit. It is a deal I would like to do. It is a deal that I think you could go a lot wrong. Like I said, if you spend 10 mil, you could, you can make your profit back. He's still obviously inexperienced. I know such is football and it annoys me. Someone might be known at 18 years of age. You're looked at as damaged goods at like 21. It's a bit irrelevant. But that Liverpool lad, Ben, ben Woodburn or something like that, they look at him like that. Where he's still young. But he's got a lot of development. As you saw here to confirm, he's, he's played only 69 games. He's only played 65 top flight appearances, you know. So then, he, you know, this is similar to Lokonga's sort of experience profile. There's a lot of development to be done. You know, he can play as an attacking mid. He can play as a deep line playmaker. He can actually be a wide playmaker as well. Like I said, he wants to dribble. He just needs to, for me, the main thing is from minute zero to 90, I always see you in the game because he can have his moments and whatnot. Um... So I'd be all on signing, signing, signing him. But again, I don't know if there's any truth in these rumours, people. Let's see if there's any other news. Um, let's go on this actual article in, in relation to, to, to AC Milan. So yeah, it says they're trying to buy him. Paolo Maldini wants Donny, you know. Let me see if there's any other. Let's type in Arsenal. We wanted him many moons ago. And that might be able to help us tip the balance and things. He'd probably be more comfortable in that attacking mid role. I think he's got... A lot more to offer to the for Arsenal than just playing there, to be fair with you. But yeah, man, I think that's that in relation to him. There doesn't seem to be anything else of note relation to Yachinadli. So we're going to leave that there, really and truly. 